the passion of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, according to John. Jesus went out with his disciples across the Kidron Valley. There was a garden there, and he and his disciples entered it. The place was familiar to Judas, the one who was to hand him over, because Jesus had often met there with his disciples. Judas took the cohort as well as guards supplied by the chief priests and Pharisees and came there with lanterns, torches, and weapons. Jesus, aware of all that would happen to him, stepped forward. Who is it you want? Jesus. Jesus the Nazarene. Jesus. I am he. Now Judas, the one who was to hand him over, was there with them. As Jesus said to them, I am he. They retreated slightly and fell to the ground. Jesus put the question to them again. Who is it you want? Jesus. Jesus. I have told you I am he. If I am the one you want, let these men go. This was to fulfill what he had said. I have not lost one of those you gave me. Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it and struck the slave of the high priest, severing his right ear. The slave's name was Malchus. Put your sword back into its sheath. Am I not to drink the cup the Father has given me? Then the soldiers of the cohort, their tribune, and the Jewish guards arrested Jesus and bound him. They led him to Annas, the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. It was Caiaphas who had proposed to the people the advantage of having one man die for the people. Simon Peter in company with another disciple kept following them closely. This disciple was known to the high priest, stayed with Jesus as far as the high priest's courtyard, while Peter was left standing at the gate. The disciple, known to the high priest, came out and spoke to the woman at the gate, and then brought Peter in. This servant girl who kept the gate saw Peter. Aren't you one of this man's followers? Not I. Now the night was cold, and the servants and the guards who were standing around had made a charcoal fire to warm themselves by. Peter joined them and stood there warming himself. The high priest questioned Jesus, first about his disciples, then about his teaching. I have spoken publicly to any who would listen. I always taught in the synagogue or in the temple area where all the Jews come together. There was nothing secret about anything I said. Why do you question me? Question those who heard me when I spoke. It should be obvious they will know what I said. At this reply, one of the guards who was standing nearby gave Jesus a sharp blow on the face. Is that any way to answer the high priest? If I've said anything wrong, produce the evidence. But if I have spoken the truth, why hit me? Annas next sent him bound to the high priest Caiaphas. All through this, Simon Peter had been standing there warming himself. The servants and the guards said to him, Aren't you one of this man's followers? I am not. But did I not see you in the garden? Insisted one of the high priest's slaves. As it happened, a relative of the man whose ear Peter had severed. Peter denied it again. At that moment, a cock began to crow. At daybreak, they brought Jesus from Caiaphas to the praetorium. They did not enter themselves for they had to avoid ritual impurity if they were to eat the Passover supper. Pilate came out to them. What accusation do you bring against this man? If he were not a criminal, we would not have handed him over to you. Why do you not take him and pass judgment on him according to your law? We may not put anyone to death. This was to fulfill what Jesus had said, 
indicating the sort of death he would die. Pilate went back into the praetorium and summoned Jesus. Are you the king of the Jews? Are you saying this on your own, or have others been telling you about me? I am no Jew. It is your own people and the chief priests who have handed you over to me. What have you done? My kingdom does not belong to this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my subjects would be fighting to save me from being handed over to the Jews. As it is, my kingdom is not here. So, then, you are a king. It is you who say that I am a king. The reason I was born, the reason why I came into the world, is to testify to the truth. Anyone committed to the truth hears my voice. Truth. What does truth mean? After this, Pilate went out again to the Jews. Speaking for myself, I find no case against this man. Recall your custom whereby I release someone to you at Passover time. Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? We want Barabbas, not this one. We, we want Barabbas. 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 We want Barabbas. Barabbas. Barabbas was a revolutionist. Pilate's next move was to take Jesus and have him scourged. The soldiers then wove a crown of thorns and fixed it on his head, throwing around his shoulders a cloak of royal purple. Repeatedly, they came up to him and said, All hail, King of the Jews. Oh hell, oh, hail, hail, king of the Jews. Hail, king of the Jews. Oh, hail, king of the Jews. Oh, hail, king of the Jews. Pilate went out a second time. Observe what I do. I am going to bring him out to you to make you realize that I find no case against him. Then... Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple cloak. Look at the man. As soon as the chief priests and the temple police saw him, they shouted, Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Take him and crucify him yourself. I, I find no case against him. We have our law, and according to that law, he must die, because he made himself God's son. When Pilate heard this kind of talk, he was more afraid than ever, and went back into the praetorium to question Jesus. Where do you come from? Do you refuse to speak to me? Do you know that I have the power to release you and the power to crucify you? You would have no power over me, whatever, unless it were given you from above. That is why he who handed me over to you is guilty of the greater sin. After this, Pilate was eager to release him. But some of the Jews shouted, If you free this man, you are no friend of Caesar. Anyone who makes himself a king becomes Caesar's rival. Pilate heard what they were saying, then brought Jesus outside and took his seat on a judge's bench at the place called the Stone Pavement, Gabbatha in Hebrew. It was the preparation day for Passover, and the hour was about noon. He said to the Jews, Look at your king. Away with him. Away with, Away him. with him. Crucify him. With him. Away with him. With him. Crucify him. What? Shall I crucify your king? We have, we have only one king, Caesar. 
In the end, Pilate handed Jesus over to be crucified. Jesus was led away and carrying the cross by himself went out to what is called the place of the school, which in Hebrew is known as Golgotha. There they crucified him and two others with him, one on either side, Jesus in the middle. There, when they crucified my Lord, were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes. It causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Jesus, the Nazarene, the King of the Jews. This inscription in Hebrew, Latin, and Greek was read by many of the Jews, since the place where Jesus was crucified was near a city. The chief priests of the Jews tried to tell Pilate, You should not have written the king of the Jews. Right instead, this man claimed to be the king of the Jews. What I have written, I have written. After the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments and divided those four ways, one for each soldier. There was also his tunic, but this tunic was woven in one piece from top to bottom and had no seam. One soldier said, we should not tear it. Let us throw dice to see who gets it. The purpose of this was to have scripture fulfilled. They divided my garments among them. For my robe, they cast lots. And this is what the soldiers did. Near the cross of Jesus, there stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. Seeing his mother there with the disciple whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, there is your son. And in turn, to the disciple John. There is your mother. From that hour onward, the disciple took her into his care. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there? Jesus, realizing that everything was now finished, said to fulfill the scripture. I am thirsty. There was a jar there, full of common wine. They stuck a sponge, soaked in this wine, on some hyssop, and raised it to his lips. When Jesus took the wine, he said, Now it is finished. Then he bowed his head, and delivered over his spirit. What a wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. What a wondrous love is this, O oh my soul. 
Since it was the preparation day, the Jews did not want to have the bodies left on the cross during the Sabbath, for the Sabbath was a solemn feast. They asked Pilate that the legs be broken and the bodies be taken away. Accordingly, the soldiers came and broke the legs of the men crucified with Jesus, first one, then of the other. When they came to Jesus and saw he was already dead, they did not break his legs. One of the soldiers thrust the lance into his side and immediately blood and water flowed out. This testimony has been given by an eyewitness and his testimony is true. He tells what he knows is true so that you may believe. These events took place for the fulfillment of scripture. Break none of his bones. There is still another scripture passage which says, They shall look on him whom they have pierced. Afterward, Joseph of Arimathea, a disciple of Jesus, although a secret one for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate's permission to remove Jesus' body. Pilate granted it, so they came and took his body away. Nicodemus, the man who had first come to Jesus at night, likewise came, bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, which weighed about a hundred pounds. They took Jesus' body in accordance with Jewish burial custom, bound it up in wrappings of cloth with perfumed oils. In the place where he had been crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden, a new tomb in which no one had ever been buried. Because of the Jewish preparation day, they laid Jesus there, for the tomb was closed at hand. The Gospel of the Lord.